Hello, this is Magic the Interviewsening. You're home for the quest for ancient secrets and trade secrets, and your number one source for Magic Interviewsening. I'm Ruben Bressler, and I am here with StarCityGames.com writer and star of the summer blockbuster hit World War Z, Sam Black. Sam, thank you for joining me today. Hi. Pleasure to be here. Talk to me about working with Team SCG. What do you want to know? Uh, it is a delight, as the teammates would say. <laughs> um, uh, I mean, it's just a group of great players that I get along with well. Um, it's like uh, we've gone to not great lengths, but paid a little bit of attention to making sure it's like a you know mature group of players who are going to like be reasonable and make responsible decisions and stuff while we're working together. It's always a good time, and it's just like a very unique experience to work with that many people who are that smart on like a project that you all care a lot about and are you know really emotionally invested in and really know well. And um, it's just like you know working with a team of what it is. <laughs> You are best known as a deck designer, helping your team SCG teammates reach Pro Tour and Grand Prix wins, and allowing you to reach StarCityGames.com Open Series Top 8s. How many more wins do you think you'd have if you didn't fall madly in love with Doom Traveler? Let me think about which tournaments I've played Doom Traveler in that I shouldn't have. There aren't any of those. Okay. All right. Fair All right. enough. <laughs> In a recent ranking of the top 100 players in the world by magic blog Hipsters of the Coast, you ranked 25th. Yet you're still chiefly known as a deck designer. Does this upset you on any level, or are you okay being seen as the computer hacker sidekick of magic? No, that's more or less exactly accurate. You once said that sacrificing your own creatures is the most powerful thing you can do in magic. Is this reverse psychology? Oh yeah, that's the most powerful thing that you can do. Absolutely, right this way, sir. Sacrifice your own creatures. That's a powerful play. Kill you. <laughs> um, no, I would argue. I would say that I'm widely credited with having said that. I'm not sure that that was the actual quote. Um, I do think that uh, it is a fun and sometimes powerful. Uh, sidekick mechanic like it uh plays well with certain other cards that uh can exploit that particular um interaction that comes up you reached the top eight of pro tour philadelphia with infect combo and you were basically responsible for the eventual banning of blazing shoal in modern as a result do you see that as a badge of honor or do they ban enough cards in modern that it doesn't even matter there was a time when the way that you beat modern was, but like you, modern was this like sub game, and you could win it by getting a card banned. Um, so I am one of the people who has won this modern sub game. So yes, yeah. You have a new token coming out soon. Congratulations. Do you like zombie movies? No. Do you often find yourself dead in tournaments only to rise again and win them? Sort of. What's the most overrated card in Standard? Doom Traveler. What's the most underrated card in Standard? Definitely Doom Traveler. If you could only play one deck for can the I, rest of your... Can I run back Doom Traveler again? Yes. Okay. Would, that, would, the, would the current <laughs> Doom Traveler... Not the current one, just the Doom Traveler uh, as um, the mascot of the deck that I wish to be playing. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it won't necessarily have a Doom Traveler. Um, like, Gravecrawler and Legacy is a reasonable Doom Traveler. And, um, like, Kitchen Finks and uh, um, Voice of Resurgence in Modern are acceptable Doom Travelers. Who is the one person you most fear facing? John. John Finkel. Sure. Yeah. Which city is your favorite to visit for Magic events? And which city that Magic has not yet visited would you like to see the Grand Prix circuit visit in the future? My favorite city to visit for magic events, I suppose, is Barcelona. Despite the fact that I don't know that I would particularly enjoy it, I will say New Orleans, because it's a city that one should go to that I've never been to. Sure. You have major event top eights in Standard, Modern, Legacy, Limited, and even Extended. So once you get a top eight in block, you'll be able to redeem your set for magic online. Why do you think that success in block has thus far eluded you? It hasn't. I've won two different block championships at Gen Con. Oh, okay. 
You are also known on the Pro Tour circuit as an Agricola ringer. Have you ever managed to find a pickup 3v3 team money harvest? No, only one-on-one. -on -one. At events? Not at events. Mm. You are one of the originators of the Aristocrats, which is possibly your crowning achievement as a deck designer. Who on Team SCG is the best teller of the joke, the Aristocrats? Well, I've never heard anyone on the team tell it. But if I were to listen to someone's uh, rendition um, just on spec, I would certainly choose Andrew Cuneo. Have you, you've, and so you've never told the joke? No. Man, that'd be a treat. How, how much would I have to pay you to tell me the joke? What do you have on you? Um, I've, got, I've got my phone. Um, I've got, what is this? I've got, my, I've got a parking pass and probably like five dollars. Mm, doesn't sound like doesn't you can afford it. it. All right, well, Sam, thank you for sacking up with us today.